Hey everybody, this video is an introduction to vectors. So here above me, there's a bunch of vectors. So here, here's vector A, which has a magnitude of 10 and a direction 30 degrees with respect to some reference, in this example, some horizontal dash line. Vector B has a magnitude 5 and some direction 53 degrees from this horizontal line. Right, so all vectors have a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude, you can write it like this. So for example, vector A, you can write it like this, magnitude. Or you can just write it like this, same thing. And it's magnitude of 10. You can also scale vectors, so you can multiply a vector by a scalar. So this is a scalar, it's a scalar. It's a magnitude without direction. You can multiply a vector by a scalar. So for example, let's say you have vector A over here. You can pick this up and move it in space. It's the same vector as long as you don't change the magnitude or the direction. So let's say this is two times vector a. So you see it's just the magnitude is 20, the direction is same direction. Or let's say vector b is here. And then I go like this. Negative 3b. So the magnitude now is 15, but the direction is going the other way because of this minus sign. Okay, and then you can add vectors together. So here's how you add vectors together. So let's say I want to add vector A plus vector C. To add vectors, you put them kind of head to tail. So this is addition. And then the sum is you kind of we started here and then went here and then went here so where you start to where you end like this so this is the vector sum which we call that a resultant vector sum okay so this is a plus c And what hap what, it turns out that addition commutes. So you could also go C plus A. And if you add these together, right, so I started here, I ended here, the resultant is C plus A. It turns out these are the same. Addition commutes. So that's convenient. Okay. And to measure, you would literally like take a ruler and measure the length of this and then take a protractor and measure the angle of this. And that's how you would kind of quantify the resultant. So this is the graphical method to, to add. Next time we'll do a different method. Okay, so now let's describe vectors in terms of coordinates. So let's say here is a vector A. And now I want to describe it in terms of Let's say I choose Cartesian coordinates like this. So in the direction this way, the x direction, there's some unit vector i hat. Right? So 
unit vector, right, there's the little hat to denote that it's a unit vector. It has a magnitude of one. And it's going to reserve, like in the x direction, the unit vector in the x direction is always called i. The unit vector in the y direction is always called j. And then in the z direction is called k. So I can decompose vector A into components for like this. I'm just going to draw it. Right? Let's say this is a x and this is a y. Right? So a x plus a y. If you add these together, right, you get this. And that's vector a, ax plus ay. Right, and what happened was this is kind of the component of vector a parallel to the x-axis. Right, this is the component of vector a parallel to the y-axis. So I split it up into these two components. And they just add together. Similarly, you can go ay plus ax. Same thing, right? We know that vectors commute. And with what we know about unit vectors, right, ax, the magnitude, and then the direction is in the i direction, right? For ay, it's whatever that magnitude is, and then the unit vector in the j direction. And then if we look at the trigonometry of it, right, this is some angle, let's say, in this example, 30 degrees. I'll just call it some generic angle here. See how this is a, a right triangle? So we can mix in some trigonometry here, right? We can say that, okay, um, Sokotoa, right? Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so if we mix all of this together, Right. So here's vector a is ax plus ay, right over here. ax is some magnitude, and here's the direction. ay, some magnitude, and here's the direction. And then if we kind of mix in the trigonometry of it, it depends on how you draw the picture. But for this picture, AX is right here, look. Move the A on this side. AX is A cosine theta. A cosine theta, right? This is AX. And then AY right here, look. A sine theta. Okay, that was a lot of information in a short time. Just one more thing. Let's say I have some vector Let's say I have some vector A and I know that it's I'll just make up some like like this. How do you define a unit vector in that direction? So I'll, I'll just call this E hat, maybe with a little, in the A direction. Some unit vector in the direction of A. It's a unit vector is just like this. Here's vector A. It's going to be in the same direction, but the magnitude is 1. So I just divide by its own magnitude, like this. 
Right, so if I, let's say I use the numbers. So vector A is 3i plus 4j. Okay, and then the magnitude, I can kind of just do Right, looks like this, like Pythagorean theorem, like this is three squared plus four squared, right? Like, so the magnitude is three squared plus four squared, and then square root that whole thing. So that happens to be nine and 16, so five, right? So like this. So this is the unit vector in this direction, right this way. And then let's say, like, I want to find this angle over here. Like, what's this angle? Right, I can just pick one of my sine or cosine or tangent, maybe tangent, tangent theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So in this example, four over three. Right, so therefore the angle is just take arctangent. Okay. All right. So thanks for listening to this one. I'll see you on the next video.